We are back. I'd like to invite everyone to pick up a copy of our holiday issue of the Straight Talk magazine. It's at sponsor outlets throughout the city of Long Beach. It's one of our best issues and it's free. We invite you to enjoy it. Continuing our conversation with City Prosecutor Doug Halbert. I know the budgets hit your office like it has all and you're down from 21 attorneys to 15 mm -hmm. and uh, you prosecute a lot of cases each year. Uh, we, we do. Just in the last uh, year, we uh, prosecuted over 13,700 uh, cases. Uh, it's a significant uh, caseload, and the cases aren't going away. Crime doesn't go down in the middle of a recession generally, although Long Beach's numbers are very, very good. Actually, crime tends to go up when economic times. Uh, you're right, our numbers are down, thankfully, but uh, We're generally... We're bucking the trend, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, now, 13,000 cases don't all go to trial. Most of them settle. Correct. Yeah. Right. The vast majority of them do, but you're, you're talking about resources, and we don't have the resources we used to have, and that's the new reality. We, we're going to have to do more, more with, with less. less. It's a reality. And how do you do that? Well, I mean, there are a few things you absolutely need to do. You need to use technology to the fullest. Uh, we are using technology and we are using support staff for some of the more ministerial things that attorneys uh, may have done in the past. Um, you, you can't prosecute cases without prosecutors. That's something you absolutely need to have. But you can't prosecute 13,000 cases without an awful lot of people supporting them. We have paralegals, we have legal secretaries, uh, we, have, we have file clerks that do a fabulous job. And we have to use, we have to rely on them and rely on technology like never before and just be more efficient than we were before. And does the digital revolution help with that efficiency? Uh, it absolutely does. Uh, it absolutely does. And we are a very computerized office as far as prosecuting offices go. I should also say we're, we're doing a lot more in diverting cases from court for first-time offenders who are uh, guilty of rather minor uh, infractions. Uh, we are giving them an opportunity to uh, work off in community service, work off the crime yeah. without getting the case filed in court. Once it gets filed in court, there's an awful lot of expense to the taxpayers. We're having them clean out parks, paint out graffiti, clean up the beaches. They're doing that, and then the case doesn't get filed, uh, and that actually saves the taxpayers a lot of money. We're trying to uh, focus on that also. This is a little bit off the direct subject, but we read about prisoners being released because of jail overcrowding, and this is just my personal view. Uh, at, at the federal level, over half of the inmates are there for nonviolent drug offenses, which to me is just a huge waste of resources when you can send a kid to Harvard for less money than imprisoning a person for a year. Mm -hmm. uh, a, lot of, a lot of people feel that uh, uh, there should be decriminalization of these, some of these drug offenses. Well, I, I actually had a, a very sobering tour of uh, the central jail in L.A. County yesterday. Uh, and I, I have to tell you, it is, it is amazing the volume that goes through the county jail system. And by the way, the release of, of, of prisoners is, is, uh, is really an issue in L.A. County that doesn't affect other counties. I didn't know that. But our, our uh, prisoners are But a are federal being judge has, man, has said that this is unconstitutional, these conditions. Well, well targeting L.A. County in particular. Yes. The state has their own issues at state prisons. But of all the counties, L.A. County, I think, yeah. is the worst as far as releasing people early. That's another budget reality. Let's talk a moment about uh, Doug Halbert and your family. You've had a uh, long time family involvement in this community. Uh, share a little bit with us. Well, sure. My, um, one of my heroes in my life was my, my grandfather, who was a career military man. And when he retired uh, he, from the military, he took a job here in Long Beach. And he was the junior ROTC instructor at three different high wow. schools at the same time when when the military was at its lowest as far as uh, yeah, yeah. public uh, popularity in the early 1970s and late 60s uh, he kind of consolidated programs and did a fabulous job and, and there's a facility named after him yes at Pauley High School they named their junior ROTC building Stockwell Hall in, in honor of my uh, grandfather uh, right. Lieutenant Colonel Harvey Stockwell so I'm very proud of that. Uh, it, uh, my, my family uh, always has put an emphasis on, on public service, and I'm, I'm proud of that. Well, as you know, we start every Straight Talk show with a one-minute tribute to police, fire, and the military because we honor their service. As you should. I think yeah. that's appropriate. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back with the remaining portions of Straight Talk after these messages. Stay with us.
Founded in 1976, Polly's Gourmet Coffee is Southern California's most complete gourmet coffee store. Polly's has the best tasting coffee freshly roasted every day right in the store. Plus a wide selection of teas, an in-house bakery, espresso bar, patio dining, and more. We also offer Wi-Fi, free internet access for all of our customers. Our nationwide clientele agree, when it comes to coffee, there's only one name to remember. Polly's, 4606 East 2nd Street, welcoming you into Belmont Shore. Take care of those who are closest to you, from our family to yours. McCarty's Jewelry, since 1932. How do you like your chances the rest of the way? I got no idea. But I do know that if we stay with Naples Rib Company, at least we won't go hungry. Coach, what do you think about some of those questionable calls tonight? Oh, yeah, but if you want a sound call, I'd call Naples Rib Company. You can't miss on that call. Then Naples Rib Company is part of your game plan? There really is nothing more motivating than a great barbecue meal at Naples Rib Company. Victory or not, Naples Rib Company, great game plan. Continuing our conversation with City Prosecutor Duck Halbert, who just told me about a fascinating volunteer prosecutor program. Well, one of the new things in our office, we are starting a volunteer prosecutor program where attorneys who want to volunteer in the office will get experience. They'll get uh, trained in uh, criminal procedure and criminal law. Uh, they've already had that training in law school, we'll give them a refresher course, and we're going to allow them to actually prosecute cases uh, in court. Um, this is an opportunity for an attorney who maybe has never had courtroom experience. As you know, prosecutors uh, almost live in court. They spend sure. all of their time uh, in trial and handling cases in court. Uh, that's basically what a prosecutor does. We have a valuable um, asset, and that is that in-courtroom experience, and I think we're going to get a lot of attorneys volunteering. I think it's a fantastic, idea, imaginative idea in these tough budgetary times. You will not get paid, but you will get that experience. We're putting the website up right now if you are interested in applying. Uh, this is a new program, and hats off to your office for coming up with this idea. Thank you, Art. Let's shift gears for a second. Uh, we lost someone who I know is near and dear to you this past year, and it was a friend of mine, Don Fultz, uh, a legendary political expert and uh, much beloved, and you owe a lot to Don. Well, I think legendary uh, is a good word to use to describe Don Fultz. Uh, he was uh, a mentor to me in many ways. Uh, he encouraged, I think, uh, very capable people to run for office. I don't think Beverly O'Neill would have run for office, but for Don Fultz. I don't think Steve Horn would have run for office, uh, but for Don Fultz. Um, and I think uh, he's really one of those private uh, folks that no one knows of, uh, and yet he has probably made a greater uh, impact on the political landscape in Long Beach than any other person in the last 50 years. He was a gentleman and a very private man, but had enormous influence in our, our deepest condolences to the family uh, of, uh, of a good friend, Don Fultz. And, um, it's our last show of 2010, Doug, so anything you want to say in 30 seconds to our viewers? Well, certainly I want to wish everyone uh, a happy new year and a safe new year. Do everything you can to make Long Beach a safer community, uh, and I'll join you in that effort, and I look forward to working with you. Doug, thank you for joining us here on Straight Talk, and thank you for your service to our community. Thank you, Art. Okay. And join us next week for the next edition of Straight Talk. Good night, everyone. Straight Talk has been brought to you by Southern California Edison, The Press Telegram, and Long Beach Magazine. And remember, Straight Talk is viewable worldwide 24-7 at straighttalktv.com.